For anyone interested in 20th century jewellery, and particularly, of course, collectors of Suzanne Bel Perron, this is a wonderful opportunity to see great jewels from an excellent provenance. The undoubted highlight of this May's sale in Geneva is the collection of jewels coming from the collection of Gina Lola Brigida. Gina is undoubtedly one of the greatest film stars of the 20th century, and her jewels match her career and her beauty. They represent some of the real stars of the Bulgari production of the 50s and 60s, including a magnificent pair of pearl drops dating from the 19th century and what I believe to be maybe the greatest diamond necklace Bulgari produced during that period. Another fascinating highlight of this year's sale is a collection of jewels by Suzanne Belperon, arguably the greatest female jewel designer of the 20th century. This time last year, we had her own personal jewelry collection for sale. And this particular collection this year comes from one of her closest friends, Cécile Simon. The 34 pieces are being actually consigned for sale by Cécile Simon's daughter. The sale also includes some really spectacular gemstones and jewels, which is, of course, typical of our May sale here in Geneva. The highlight of the gemstones is a 27.9 carat cushion-shaped diamond, a spectacular stone with a huge amount of fire and life to it. It is D color, the finest white, and internally flawless. The traditional noble section of the sale includes some fascinating and beautiful jewels from different royal, aristocratic and noble families of Europe and farther afield. Amongst them, I personally like this 74 karat yellow diamond, originally worn as part of the headdress of Sultan Ahmed Shah Qajar, the seventh and last king of the Qajar dynasty of Persia. So from the glamorous jewels of Gina Lola Brigida to the exotic jewels of the Qajar dynasty, this uh, really does have something for both the collector and the lover of jewels. Mm -hmm.